Ford is laying off hundreds of employees across six facilities starting Monday, and they say the strike here at the Kentucky truck plant is partially to blame. Hello everyone, I'm Connor Steffen in for Doug Profit. New tonight, the company announced approximately 550 employees will be laid off because of the strikes at KTP in the Chicago assembly plant that have impacted operations. Those employees work at plants in Ohio, Michigan, and Illinois. WHLS 11 night teams Taylor Woods and photojournalist Aspen Hester talked with the local union president who says more layoffs could be coming to right here in Louisville. Dozens of Ford Kentucky truck plant workers have been picketing nonstop for three days and now the concern is for Louisville assembly plant workers. I'm hearing that they have a two day supply just from what we stamp from them over here on the stamping plant that we send to their plant. LAP depends on KTP to provide parts for their work and with low inventory layoffs could happen soon. And if we're not running, uh, then LAP cannot run uh, because the stuff that's in our stamping plant keeps that particular part of that operation going. With us being down, they're going to be down. Local 862 President Tom Dunn says he doesn't see LAP lasting too much longer with KTP on strike. That's why he wants Ford to get back to the negotiating table as soon as possible. What I see is a uh, staggering down uh, method next week. I don't see them going any further than uh, the middle or end of next week. Dunn says the longer KTP is on strike, the more money is taken away from their strike fund because they didn't want to take a chance and leave their employees with no resources. If Ford Motor Company were to turn off the benefits, anybody that's not being paid a strike benefit uh, will not receive uh, insurance. It's day three of the strike at KTP and workers are going strong on the picket lines fighting for better pay and benefits. The support on the picket lines has been overwhelming. Some workers brought their children like Craig Krieger. It's sad, like he's been working what, 25 years you said? And now he's gotta go through this. Corvette workers from as far as Bowling Green have also stopped by to stand in solidarity. I came down here because they supported us during our strike four years ago and we're all in this together. Hoping this strike will move forward to negotiate with a better contract soon. In Louisville, Taylor Woods, WHAS 1119 on your side.